how are you? I hope you're well. I thought because you couldn't come to the zoo, maybe I could bring zoo class to you. Will you join me? I hope so. Today we're gonna be learning about butterflies. How exciting. With spring coming, butterflies are gonna be out and about, and when you go on your walks with your family, you're gonna be able to see lots of them. What's your favorite color butterfly? Mine's orange. All right, are you ready to sing with me? Let's sing hello. Will you clap your hands? Sing, sing, sing hello, sing hello together. Sing, sing, sing hello, sing hello together. Hi, everybody. I'm so glad you could join me today. As we talk about butterflies today, we're going to be learning a lot of fun things. But the first thing I wanna teach you is I wanna teach you how to say butterfly in sign language. Sign language is when we use our hands to talk to people who can't hear. Sometimes people can't hear, so they watch our hands as we say words, and that's how they can understand us. So to say butterfly, you're gonna take your hands, and you're going to link your thumbs like this, and move your hands and flutter them like wings, and that's how you say butterfly. Good job. You're doing great. Can you show me one more time? Perfect. That's great. And butterfly starts with the letter B. B is where you put your thumb across your palm. That's the letter B in sign language. And that's what butterfly starts with. B, 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 B. Good job. You're doing great. All right, would you like to read a story with me? I have a really fun story. It's called From Caterpillar to Butterfly. What do you think is gonna happen in the story? Today, a caterpillar came to school in a jar. It is eating green leaves. It is climbing and wiggling. It is a tiny caterpillar and it's going to change. It will change into a beautiful butterfly. Their caterpillar is inside a jar there. Do you see that? Caterpillars usually turn into butterflies outdoors. They live in gardens and meadows and yards. But we will have to watch our, our caterpillar change into a butterfly right here in our classroom. This change is called a metamorphosis. Do you see all the butterflies out there in their uh, schoolyard? Where do you see butterflies? Our caterpillar started out as a tiny egg. The mother, the mother butterfly laid the egg on a little leaf. So here is the tiny egg. This is the first step of a butterfly's life cycle, the first step in the metamorphosis. So here it is as a tiny little egg. There's a couple of them on this leaf. When the caterpillar hatched out of the egg, it was hungry. It ate all the way out of its own eggshell and then it started eating the green plants right away. A caterpillar's job is to eat and eat and eat so that it will grow and grow and grow. A caterpillar is also called a larva. So as you can see, this caterpillar is eating all the green leaf. They like to eat, 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 and get super fat. Do you think they like to eat spaghetti? Each day when we come to school, we look at our caterpillar, and each day it gets bigger and bigger. The caterpillar eats and grows for 12 to 14 days. Our skin grows with us, but a caterpillar's skin does not grow. When the caterpillar gets too big for its skin, its skin splits down its back. The caterpillar crawls right out of its own skin. It has a new skin underneath, and this is called molting. Our caterpillar will molt for four to five times. Look how big that caterpillar got. He was a tiny, tiny little guy at first, and then he ate and ate and ate and got super fat. And now it's gonna be time for the next steps. 
So after many days of a caterpillar, and after he's finished growing, it's much bigger than when he first came to school. And it's almost as big as my little finger now. Our caterpillar is making a special house. This is made out of a button of silk. It uses this button to hang upside down from the twig, then it molts for the last time. Instead of a new skin, this time it's a hard shell. This shell is called a chrysalis. Our caterpillar will stay inside the chrysalis for a long time. The chrysalis is also called a pupa. Do you see that? It's also called a cocoon sometimes. So now our caterpillar is inside that chrysalis. Each day the chrysalis looks the same. We can't see anything happening, but inside the chrysalis, our caterpillar is changing. Will our caterpillar ever turn into a butterfly? Will it ever come out of its chrysalis? We can hardly wait, but we do. We wait and wait and wait. The caterpillar stays inside the chrysalis for about one week. They're all waiting so patiently. Then, one day during snack time, somebody shouts, look, and we all rush over to see. Our chrysalis, it's cracking. We see a head and a body and then wings. It's a butterfly. But that doesn't really look like a butterfly yet, does it? The tiny caterpillar who came to school in a jar turned into a painted lady butterfly. Our butterfly was damp and crumpled. It hangs on the chrysalis while its wings flap, flap, flap. The blood pumps through its wings and the wings straighten out and dry. Soon our butterfly will be ready to fly. In two hours, the wings are dry and the butterfly is ready to go. What a pretty butterfly. Our butterfly cannot stay in the jar. It needs to be outside with flowers and grass and trees and other butterflies. It is a warm spring day. I put the butterfly on my finger and the butterfly sits there until I pull it out of the jar and the butterfly goes free. We will feel a little sad, but a little happy too. We watch our butterfly land on a flower. It will sip the flower's nectar through the long coiled tube. Maybe it's a female butterfly. Maybe someday she will also lay eggs on a leaf. I know just what will happen then. The egg will hatch into a caterpillar and the caterpillar will turn into a beautiful butterfly. A painted baby a lady butterfly sips nectar from certain flowers. They like thistle and burdock and butterfly bush and mint. How many different kinds of butterflies can you find around your neighborhood? Here are some common ones to look for. This orange one, that one is called a monarch. This one here is a black swallowtail. And this one here is a cabbage white. There's a dog-faced butterfly and a common blue and a buckeye. Thanks for reading that story with me. That was a super fun story, wasn't it? So tell me, what were the four steps of a butterfly's life? Do you remember? Our butterfly started out as an egg, and then he went to a caterpillar, and then he became a chrysalis, and then he became a butterfly. He had four steps to his life. That is called his life cycle. Pretty cool, huh? All right, well now I wanna sing a song with you. Do you wanna sing a song with me? Great. So what we're gonna need for this song is we're gonna need five fingers, our five counting fingers. So let's make sure we have five. Ready, will you count with me? One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Let's do it in Spanish. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Great job! So we have our five fingers and we're gonna sing a song about five butterflies. Are you ready? All right, friends, here we go. 
Five little butterflies flew by the door. One flew away, and then there were four. Four little butterflies sitting on a tree. One flew away, and then there were three. Three little butterflies up in the blue. One flew away, and then there were two. Two little butterflies out in the sun. One flew away, and then there was one. One little butterfly, now all alone. She was so lonely that she flew home. Good job! That was great. Good job singing with me. Let's count to five one more time. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Let's count that in Spanish. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Five. Good job! So, because we counted to five, I figured why not tell you five fun facts about a butterfly. All right, so our five facts about butterflies. One, our butterflies have a life cycle. They have a metamorphosis. They start off as an egg, then they become a caterpillar or larva, then they become a chrysalis, and then a butterfly. This is the life cycle of a butterfly or their metamorphosis. Do you know any other animals that have a life cycle? Hmm. What about an animal that goes ribbit, ribbit? Yes, a frog. A frog also has a life cycle. Now, our second fact is butterflies are insects. And how do you know that a butterfly is an insect? Well, he has a couple things. One, he has antennas. Antenna. Two, he has three sets of legs. So six legs total. And then he has a top wing and a bottom wing, so four wings. And then he has an exoskeleton, and that exoskeleton is the bones on the outside like armor. So our bones are inside our body, but the uh, an, uh, insect, he has his bones on the outside. And it's like a strong armor for protection and to keep them nice and all put together. And then our third fact is that our butterflies eat nectar. But what do our caterpillars eat? Do you remember? Hmm. Our caterpillars eat those eat green, green leaves. That's right. And our butterflies eat that nectar. Now, nectars are found in flowers. So those caterpillars, or those butterflies, excuse me, use that long, long tube and tongue to go in there and suck up all that nectar that's in that flower. Do you ever see caterpillars and butterflies eating at restaurants or going to the grocery store? Mm, I don't really know. I usually see them in gardens or meadows where there's lots and lots of flowers. Uh, butterflies love gardens and they love those flowers and they're super important pollinators. That is fact number four. Now, butterflies, really, really, really important pollinators and they help a lot of plants grow. Do you like to eat any plants? I like to eat apples. I love apples. And apples need butterflies to help them grow. So they're very, very important for our plant growth and for our environment. That's why we want to make sure that we protect them. And our fifth fact is how can you tell the difference between a moth and a butterfly? I tell the difference because moths come out at night and butterflies like to come out during the day. So you can tell the difference between a moth and a butterfly by when they come out. Now, if an animal comes out at night, what is that called? Do you remember? Nocturnal! Good job! Our moth is nocturnal and our butterfly comes out during the day. What is that called? Good job! Diurnal. So, our moth is nocturnal and our butterfly is diurnal. Good job! Great job, friends. That was super fun. Let's count to five one more time. One, two, three, four, five. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. I am so happy that you got to do this with me today. I hope you like singing our song and reading our story and learning about butterflies. I loved it and I hope I get to do this with you again, but I hope we get to do this at the zoo. Hopefully we'll be able to see each other soon. All right, friends. Well, I had a great time with you today. Before we sing goodbye, we're just going to do butterfly one last time. Do you remember how to do that in sign language? Good job. That is butterfly in sign language.
Excellent job. And do you remember how to do the letter B? Perfect. Well, we're going to say goodbye now, and I hope to see you all soon. Can you clap your hands? Sing, sing, sing goodbye, sing goodbye together. Sing, sing, sing goodbye, sing goodbye together. And everybody says goodbye. Bye, friends.